We have stressed the uh, research for fundamental studies. So what does that mean to our basic strategy of uh, strengthening the country with technologies? As you mentioned, after the 20th uh, National Congress in the third group study, we have stressed the importance of uh, strengthening fundamental studies. I think it, this is a new recognition of the party and also a clear embodiment that the country attaches great importance to fundamental studies as a source of innovation. This so-called black, uh, this so-called top-notch technologies all come from the breakthroughs in fundamental technological advancement. So this is a historical requirement and very pragmatic and realistic as well. So how to, how to implement such a strategy? After the 20th National Congress, uh, the CPC Central Committee, as well as General Secretary Xi Jinping, attaches great importance to work in this regard. So you all know about the four Faces. The first is to face the frontier of uh, the uh, of the international of the international technologies, among others. So we our work will be delivered in the following aspects. First, this is to improve and increase the uh, investment and foundings in terms of fundamental research. And uh, in the past, it was about 5%. And now we are planning to increase it to about 6% or more, because the previous investment is not enough compared to, and it's insufficient compared to the investment in other sectors. And second, we need to improve the capacity building in terms of fundamental research. That includes the establishment of uh, national key labs, and research centers. This, is, this concerns the capacity building and platform building for fundamental research. And the third is to strengthen top structure construction. So the fundamental studies itself is part of a technological innovation, but it also needs top structures of its own. That's why we have issued this uh, 10-year plan for strengthening fundamental research, especially in terms of uh, humanity, uh, the human resources evaluation and, in, and uh, environmental protection. So in the past, uh, we are not very clear as, so as to the sum of the paths and the strategies of fundamental research. I think it's important for us to create a very good atmosphere that can tolerate risks and uh, mistakes. I think this is good environment is crucial to the encouragement of uh, fundamental research. We have done a lot of work and, fruit and achieve good, very fruitful results. In terms of evaluation of uh, the fundamental research, it should be somewhat different from that of a project for a real project because it takes time to make breakthroughs in the fundamental studies and research. Sometimes it takes 10 years or more to do that. So we need to have a different set of evaluation standards. But there are still several issues that we need to follow. The first question is how to ask the right question. What are the key questions? What are the major issues concerning technologies. I think it is up to our top scientists to ask the key questions. And second is where do we find the top-notch researchers the mathematicians or physicians that can find out, find the, um, the laws of the nature and how do we, how do we conclude the methodologies? And those are more important sometimes than the results. And third is a, to create a good ecological environment for the scientists. Communication between scientists is important. 
to do fundamental research, methodology, and the patterns of research are also essential and crucial. This, is, this should be our priorities in terms of fundamental research. Comparatively speaking, the results is only a byproduct. We know that uh, quantum communication measurement and so on are Seem, uh, seem to be new topics and uh, seem to be far away from our lives. However, they can be applied to our daily lives. Our fast telescope in Guizhou has also witnessed and uh, catched a lot of uh, pulses uh, from the universe. I think this kind of uh, observation and transformation of technologies can be applied to many sectors. There are also two key factors in terms of fundamental research. The first is curiosity, and second keyword is application. If you met difficulties in application, you can go back to the fundamental research to um, seek the question. Coming up, we will continue to act according to the important instructions of the central government as well as uh, the CBC Central Committee and uh, uh, that of uh, General Secretary Xi Jinping. And uh, we need to encourage this kind of uh, curiosity and uh, more uh, exploration. And second, we need a systematic layout in terms of our strategies. And third, we need to make full use of this market-driven mechanisms so that uh, it can be more systematically organized and it can be more closely linked to our national strategies and development targets of our country, I think the function of uh, fundamental research is uh, irreplaceable and it can place immense function in our economic development. Next question, please. Thank you. With the Technological Daily, my question goes to Mr. Wang. A business is the act main actor for innovation and participant of innovation. So how do we encourage the enterprises to make more innovations? That is true. They, the, the business as the, uh, the main subject for innovation has always been our focus. I think during the report of the 20th National Congress, there are not only the key issue, uh, the main factor in technology, but also in science. I think this is a upgrade for the position of the businesses. So they are not only in a position to make technological advancement, but also scientific research, I mean, to raise new questions, to expand new areas, to explain, uh, to, to interpret the existing phenomena. phenomena. I think uh, all of those are key for us to further encourage the enterprises to play a key role in terms of uh, our daily life and economic development. So is our job to encourage enterprises to play a bigger role in those aspects. My ministry has always been working closely with the businesses in these areas. For example, we have set up this national key labs in many of the enterprises, as well as technological advancement center. At the same time, uh, when we're applying for the scientific projects, so organizing the products, making the key decisions on the a product and also the application of the results. We all bring the key position on the enterprises. So we would like to embrace the key enterprises, which means the enterprises involved from the very first day of the whole process. So they involved from the end to end of the whole chain. So we could cultivate the uh, high-tech enterprises industry. So they all come together. So going forward, we'll give more support to enterprises playing its core 
bro. So for that we are not just saying that we should focus them as the main center of development, we should give them opportunities to develop themselves. So we should give them a fair environment and the equitable environment to develop. So no matter it's state-owned or the private sector enterprises or the large or small size of enterprises, as long as you involved in the scientific technological activities and you pay your contribution to the a competitiveness in the scientific development, for my ministry will give full support to all these enterprises. So for the a rights, the opportunities and the rules will be all on the equal footing. Thank you. Chat GDP is a quite fast word home and abroad. Many companies at home also said that they have the certain the a product and in their pipeline, and what's your expectation of the future of the ChatGPT GPT online products? Thank you for your question. When we the introduction of ChatGPT uh, drew the world attention. So if we talk about the it's NRP, NRU, a natural language processing, a natural language understanding technology. Actually, these two the fields have always been the field of the scientists to conduct their research, and this also rely on big data. And the strong the algorithm and computing, and also the good the algorithm. So we we'll talk about that the same logic or same theory. So the same for engines. If you can produce engine, of course you have different level of quality. So same for football. You know how to shoot, but if you want to be a Messi in the football court. The football field, then you need to know how to make a sharp shooting. So for ChatGPT, that's the same. So how you can guarantee that your algorithm and the quality of algorithm is effective and also work closely with each other. If we compute slowly, actually, we can understand people's natural language and also to realize communication. But it's, if you want to realize in real-time communication, then we talk about open AI really has its own advantages. So in China, we had the, uh, some plans and researchers in this field for several years. We have seen some achievements. But if we want to achieve the same level as open AI, and we will also to see more Chinese companies and also the foreign companies can work out more the available outcomes. And also at the same time, we should pay attention to the ethical issues. So how we can better leverage the good side of the technology. Of course, OpenAI is not only limited itself to science and technology. It will also make its contribution to the other industry in terms of encouraging the development of the other industry. And we have some plans to further develop the open AI. And for AI, we actually also make it as the a key topic of our development and the research. And we also, as the first country, mentioned eight statements in terms of developing AI. And also recently, the um, Ministry of Science and Technology also laid out the, uh, several the, Scenarios, the application scenarios, such as using the ports. So we like to use the a scenario driven and consumer needs driven factors to further drive the development of AI, and we would like to make our further contribution to boost the development of AI technology, and also for the a players involved in this industry in terms of academia, the enterprises, the research institutions should work together and use the a Chinese technology and the wisdom to pay contribution to the development of technology around the world. Thank you very much, Minister Wang.